Hey guys, welcome to our Bayonetta 2 Amiibo Unboxing Livestream. We just figured we would try all of these Amiibos we bought after all these years, because we're morons, on a Bayonetta 2 podcast. Yeah, I mean, I figure we should start with Bayonetta. She's, she's in this game. Certainly she'll do something. I would hope. Yeah. If they didn't get Bayonetta to do something in a Bayonetta game. Doing that dumb echo thing again. There, there we go. Fixed it. What's it say? Oh, okay. We unlocked the super mirror. Yeah, super mirrors are different costumes. Oh, okay. All contour bullets for super mirror. Wow. So, um, Bob. What's up? I, I, I don't. So that was like uh, cosmetic stuff. That was cosmetic stuff. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, let's. Who's the next amiibo? Uh, I don't. I have a. Uh, What's her name? Darunia from from Rest of the Wild. I'm sure this will okay. work. I'm... Yeah, sure. Here we go. Is it? <laughs> Better keep it a secret to everybody. Got some Zelda oh, references. Zelda references, nice. Okay, Bob. What's the uh? What's the reward? Oh, we got money in yeah. Spanish Court. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Time to scan another Wait, Amiibo, Bob. Did anybody, like, anyone showing suggestions in? I got, I got Samus a man. <laughs> no, that's the girl Samus. Girl that's Sam fucking girl. Toughest bounty hunter in the galaxy. <laughs> well, Bob, this was great and all, but I feel like, I feel like people may want to see Secret of Mana. Oh, okay. I don't know why they would have showed up for this live stream for that, but... <sighs> I guess we just have to oblige. I guess, I guess we could do that. All right. I guess that's all right. Here we go. Let's see. I'll have you know people have decided the face cam one is in a weird spot, which I don't know. I, I think it's fine. <laughs> Two, uh, the counter argument is, well, it's either the, 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 the face cam go there or boobs. <laughs> Bouncing boob gifts. So is there... Oh, there's just silence. Yeah, that's weird. Ran out of music already. I guess. Go home. <laughs> Ain't got no music. <laughs> Boom, they're this saving it. Because the music's going to be so good once you get Oh, home. man. You got yeah. such a difficult choice. What if I want French input? What is this? Where's the charm in this? Wow, yeah. The original game has so much more charm to this shit. Oh, my God. That even opens up this menu. <sighs> Three thousand Daniels pop up going. <laughs> Who put you on this planet? <laughs> Long ago, the world prospered and humanity thrived thanks to a power known as mana. Until the crystal cracked. Techno song kicks in. However, <laughs> humans soon sought to use mana to create the ultimate weapon. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mana's Battle Fortress mana cuts to Mana from, like, J-Rock Star on there. <laughs> the gods, who in turn unleashed vicious beasts into the world. <laughs> Very vicious. Uh, Very vicious. Knockoff Pokemon-looking beasts. <laughs> between the Mana beasts in the fortress engulf the world in poison and fire until Mana had all but disappeared. I think he's trying to go for like a uh, Don Bluth narrator sort of thing, you know, okay. Secret of Nim sort of old man. I can kind of get that. Yeah, I kind of get. It. I feel like he's missing the mark a little. Right. The world was left in shambles, mm -hmm. and yet humanity persevered, and there was peace throughout the land. Ooh, that, why is it so ominous that there's peace? <laughs> I don't know. That sound effect was. As time passes, that line's supposed so that sound effect repeats. is supposed to play over this part, so they even sync the intro to the music. Wait, that's not the line. <sighs> Whatever, <laughs> it's fine. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Why is hey. this thirty frames per second? Guys, go cool me. Up. Oh. He's the worst part. He doesn't animate at all. Yeah, no, that's that's really weird. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Everyone in the village knows about the ghost. Ah, uh, Gohan. <laughs> New Gohan. <laughs> I guess that's more Goten. That sounded like that, the that, young trunks. That that's is, what I was thinking. That, yeah, okay, that's a good point. I that is one angry kid. <laughs> that is an angry kid, yeah. The falls when she was little. Yes, this this is uh, Maybe a part of the Transformers we'll universe. <laughs> you guessed it, Justice Hank. <laughs> no, why? Oh my god. Ooh. It's like the opening of the game. You could have tried a little harder. No. Can't tell who's talking. Good point, Prince Silvermane. Uh, whoa. Ouch. There's no way back up. Now what am I gonna do? I kind of like the music so far, but it's only been a few seconds. No, it's already terrible compared to the original, or just the general. Um. Yes. Okay. So the interesting thing is the upper right mini map is the original game. Yeah, that's cool. Marvel 2 is like, I already don't like this. Can we just play this SNES game? I mean, yes, we can. We're very huh? capable of that. But that's not the point. Not the point right now. Right. Who knows what could happen by the end of the stream. At least they have a run button and you can run in any direction. Way, but I'll never get through here without a weapon. Look at how thick these bushes yeah, are. Yeah, fucking I mean, don't so even much. be reasonable, asshole. I need to How could I possibly get through these tiny bushes? I need a sword of legend. <laughs> right? The fact it looks so terrible and is 30 is killing me. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's like Xenoblade <laughs> Chronicles 2 level voice actor kicks in. What? Wait, What's the what are you doing here? <laughs> God, that, that that would be so bad. This isn't great. I mean, but it would oh match the visuals. Yeah. What's with this light? Ghost. Ghost. Is he shaggy? Yeah. <laughs> Scoob. Yeah, it would be cool to see adventures in Lana on a different platform, uh -huh. wouldn't it? Yes. Oh, well. What do you mean? It would. It'd be really What's great if um, I don't know they they made the ghost look better because that color makes sense when he's transparent That's and it's the Super NES. Yeah, I don't understand why he wasn't even transparent. Uh, I have to get back he to the He clearly called him a ghost. And also, they didn't it's even easy show to make the ghost disappear. So you're left to believe the ghost is still standing over here. <laughs> well, he walked off. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Whoa! What's a rabbi doing in a place like this? <laughs> okay, I was like, I don't see any rabbis. <laughs> it's rab bite, because it's a rabbit that bites. <laughs> Got some stabbing, okay. So to the says, wait, Dan, is that your voice whispering? You didn't say you were in the game. <laughs> I was. <laughs> it's my uh, voice acting debut outside of Sonic, uh, <laughs> the animated cartoon, which I was also in as Sonic. <laughs> you know, my brother watched that video and he was like, he didn't realize it was me. <laughs> like at first. Man, this is, uh, this is something, man. Yeah, already that D-pad bad. doesn't work. D-pad doesn't work. Are you serious? What's so wrong with I can I can see why Jeremy Parrish would be annoyed by the full 360 degree movement if the D-pad doesn't work. It's harder to line up whip shots that way. Also, I don't know. The music's really not. Yeah, it's. It's oh, D-pad D's for character changing, says Retro Nightcase. See, that, I figured it would be menu stuff, and then it didn't do menu stuff. And so, it, changing characters makes sense, but why didn't they just use the touchpad? That's what did that originally. The It'd be the select button. Okay, I was like, the touchpad? Yeah. <laughs> On the Super Nintendo. Uh-huh. At this time of night. Uh-huh. This time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Captain Pollution. Hey, man. How's it going? 
Just you like, might notice this is Mega Maker. We already did our Mega Maker live stream, and then, and then I was like, I'm starving. Music. I, or, I Star Falcon well. says music sounds off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just it doesn't. Just doesn't. Oh, you can charge. I forgot about that. Um. Well, I just got that ability by leveling up my sword by killing enough things. Okay. So. Uh, no. What? Are you kidding me? What? Okay, so in the original Secret of Mana, you could hold R uh -huh. and then move laterally. Keep it so, so you could start charging to the left, right? Uh -huh. And then move up and down. Oh, it has like yeah, so auto aim. Auto yeah, huh. but like the idea then would be, okay, I'm in this large boss battle. Like there's a lot of room. I'm just gonna sit over here and charge this atta uh, attack. And I'll have it ready to fly at the enemy at a moment's notice, but I need to be able to dodge. Yeah. Instead, Instead. I mean, the fact this game is looking bad compared to a SNES game in quality of life stuff. Right. Pressure back base is confirming that, yeah, you can't direction lock. Lame, I know. That's really lame. Because <laughs> that's, that's fucking important. But whatever. Maybe this is going to be such a pushover, it won't matter. And that's its own problem or thing. You know? Right. Sasha's asking us to play Mega Finger? Something lit up the sky near the I have a bad feeling. We only stream three and a half hours, Bob. See, I told you that's how people would see it. <laughs> Guys, that's it didn't even take twenty minutes of this stream to get to that point. Hey, stop playing with that sword before you hurt someone. <laughs> I'll tell the elder on you. I'll tell the elder on you, Dan. This is fucking awful. Captain Flute. Remix! <laughs> Shoots a load of radioactive toxic slime on that game. Okay. I mean, to be fair, that's what the real Captain Pollution would do. This is... What did you do this time? Fuck the voice acting. This music is terrible. Right. Don't dawdle. Whoa, what is he doing? Oh, he dances. He always dances, but for some reason they gave him the calmest voice ever. What'll it be? That's the sound of a wildly dancing man, so what will be? <laughs> Dutch Dutch just says, this is like those Anything PS2 E's remakes that no one likes to talk about. Yes, well, actually, I like to talk about it. <laughs> so, so, can think oh, this boy. needs Galco Chan. I, well, I don't think there's time. We got it. We got We got all this RPG to play. I already had overalls. Why did you offer to sell me a thing I already had? Uh, it says that we should make a uh, gig with RPG. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, this, this music is really bad. Why is this the same guy? Is that just how it was? And it was funny. Okay. But that's about it. It's like a Nurse Joy thing. Yeah. There's an unfamiliar face in here. It's kind of scary. This is terrible! Is there a way to turn off the turn it's back to the It's not even music? like letting me get to any menus. Are you serious? At fucking all. Start does nothing. Touchpad, nothing. Triangle, I think that guy nothing. What's... Dan, oh, man, I have you. not bought any planes. Oh, Don't blame me oh, for his you. lack of gill. Oh, hey. He won't let me talk to him. There we go. All that work to talk to him and then that. Whatever. This is a fucking nightmare. I did not expect the music to be this You're bad. All right. Elliot. Oh, I thought you were a goner. That's why I told you not to bring someone like him along. <laughs> you idiots. None of you were supposed to wander into that area. Uh, what's that you have there? Oh no. It couldn't be. Cool. Did you find the treasure? What is this game anyway? This is Secret of Mana on the That's PS4, the, the remake of the classic Wait, Super Nintendo game. Mana sword? But legend says the village will be destroyed if it's removed. I never thought it'd come to this. I like him popping. The mana sword is said to protect uh, the village. The middle dude, the big, the big kid. Yeah. Aha! Whenever so you're the, the elder started talking, he just popped into the direction. <laughs> the sword and doomed the whole village. It's your fault, you outsider. Uh, Matt Hoffman says you can change it to old music from the spinner Shut menu. Up. 
Really? Yeah. Man, that's weird. Oh, he just he just goes around town blaming you. There's definitely an earthquake oh going on. God, there were facial animations before they moved with speed. They're literally just going through the movements. It like has you have a sword? Why don't you use it? Oh my god. Can you hear me? Calm down and study the <laughs> 64 back to just make you just bury his ears. Yes, Whirlpool, they didn't even bother to animate him hitting you. It just flashes. It's just how this game is. Even the enemies in this game are puking radioactive waste on, on itself. Take more than that. God, this is so disappointing already. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason Jeremy Parrish gave it like a 5.5. That's right. Not a high score at all. Oh, I'm dead. Listen to my advice. Clear your mind. Wait for your power to return to 100%. Then be sure your aim is true. And then it came back to life. Because, you know, they can't let you die in the first boss battle. Right? That'd be expecting you to grind the opening area. <laughs> Pyro wants to know what this game is. Or sorry. He says, Nani is this. Nani means what? Yes. Translator notes for our fans. People are uh, informing him that's garbage. <laughs> I mean... This music was incredible originally. Man, I really want to hear the original music compared to this. Maybe we should turn on that. Way to go! I don't think this is the same engine as Final Fantasy IV Remake. That was made by Silicon... something. Some The group who made Bravely Default and stuff. And they, they usually know better what they're doing with their art. <laughs> Even though they're on 3DS and not PS4. <laughs> yeah. And they... they, God, there's so much more work into the animation in that game. Like, that it game feels like it has care behind it. Sword. I just don't... don't know this about this. Troubling. You should loop that animation. That? <sighs> uh, Stupid bitch. The sword can only be <laughs> by a knight when the world is in peril. But you are far too young for such a responsibility. Something must be wrong with the man sword. <laughs> you should just give it to me so I could be a hero legend. <laughs> no, I cannot. The sword has lost its power. It must be restored. Only the one who pulled it free can do that. And then the tree having like crazy... What should I yeah, do? what the heck? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. The sage has protected these lands for over 200 years. I think it's neat to be able to see what the outfit he was wearing was supposed to look like. Yeah, like yeah. that in 3D, it gives me a lot better perspective. Yeah. I'll be off. I have duties to attend. My name is Jimma, and I'll be waiting for you at the Water Palace. <laughs> Wait, did it really end like that? Yeah. Yeah, they all end weirdly abruptly. They all seem to be videos, is what I'm getting. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, this game's also on the Vita. <sighs> the perfect formula for a bad PS4 game. Yes. And I had a, I had people question me when the when I was like, God, I'm I'm so glad they didn't put Persona 5 on the Vita. Cause fuck them, God. Yeah. They need to be punched in the mouth. Cause they're, they're God. Who is the guy who runs kind of funny? I don't want to do this, but uh, Greg. No yeah, Greg Miller. I yeah, he wanted Persona Five on the Vita. Yeah, Greg Miller is a moron. Yeah, and it was just like God. Thank God that didn't downstairs. happen. You know, likable morons are ruining society. <laughs> yeah. Okay.
Because they ask for the dumbest shit, and then a bunch of people get upset when they don't get that. Right? Because they don't understand why. Are you going somewhere? See you later. Yes. Oh my god. What's up, Bob? Hey, the cutscenes are in game rendered. If you have pre order costumes, they show up in those scenes. Okay. Okay. Whew. There you go. Oh, wow. It's all subtle. Yeah. That's not how that song sounded a second ago. But yeah, I don't know. We're, we're going back to that. I can't. Yeah, I want to hear the com the, how it sounds in the, just in the village. Like, outside of houses. Because, oh man. That was the worst song. To raise you. But today is the day we must part. I hope that you find your mother again someday. Goodbye. Sad little Diana. Dosta Dano. Yes, this is a weird Meg Maker update they use this RP or they made using RPG Maker. The light Kanak wants you to change the VO language so he can pretend it's good. I'm only selling you stuff because the elder said I had to. When you're done, get out of here. <laughs> well, I hate you, kid. <laughs> but I, I have this curse, so I have to dance forever. <laughs> Immediately, welcome, what it will be. Great. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> He's so welcoming. Actually, didn't have a bandana. You know what? Maybe I did. I may have just fucked up again. Let's see. Okay. Good. I did not fuck up again. <laughs> How do I wear the the special outfits? Sixty-four master. Not gonna lie. If this was made in RPG Maker, I'd be pretty impressed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that thing is designed for that. Right now. Yeah, I think the voice acting here is the least yeah, of the problems. There you go. You know, oh, the, the 3D the 3D really does help you see what he was wearing originally. Yeah, he was wearing a Moogle outfit. That makes sense. Do you have everything you need? Yes, now that I've taken my jammies. <laughs> by order of the Elder, you have been banished from Poto's village. Now be gone. Okay. <laughs> that kid's gonna die. <laughs> You know what's weird to think about? What's that? This exact song sounds better on the Super NT. Oh, God. Because they just didn't get the audio as well. Well, not only that, it's not literally so, yes. one, what you say. Two, this is like a compressed lossy version. Yes. <sighs> Why did they... Do any of this? Yeah, any of this. I, I really don't know. It's pretty confusing. Apparently in the uh, original game, you could get back in the village by running at the guy and spamming select. <laughs> huh. That's funny. There, it is so befuddling how unresponsive this is on a PS4. Like, like I'm queuing up hits for it to register. Really? Just like the well, original. It's so, they ought to make it just like the original, even though they're just going to make fall. it worse in general. Right. The fucked up thing is Kingdom Hearts owes a lot to Secret of Mana. Right. And Kingdom Hearts has, like, so many more entries in its series, so much more budget invested in it. And Secret of Mana just gets thrown under a fucking bus. Yeah. People who don't, who haven't played these games are like, what the hell's Dandy, Dan going on about? Why does Secret, uh, why does Kingdom Hearts owe this a lot? This is, in, in case you haven't played Kingdom Hearts or this, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 was basically, we're gonna make a 3D Secret of Mana. Like, active combat system, loose magic system, very simplified combat to make it. Oh, right, that just sends me up there. 
Yeah, make it approachable, and then they just slap Disney and and move or mix all their IPs together. Right. Which is why it gets a hojillion dollar PS4 game. This doesn't even get like something worthy of a PS3 remake. Uh. <laughs> Samurai Guma makes a good point. They could have translated a s s uh, Secret Man of Three. Yeah, Second Dead Set 2 3. Yeah, Second Dead Set 2 3. And instead they did this. Yeah. And yeah. People just. People want to be able to play that game. Second Dead Set 2 3? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's a real. I, I, well, they're doing it in order. They did one first, then this. Well, they, they could have just translated it and had the old graphics. <laughs> Like, that's as much no, as... No, they're never going to do that. For some reason, they none of these companies want to do that because... Even though they good did luck it. selling that for $40. Right, they did it in Japan, though. That's they true, sold. and they did sell it for, like, 40 No, they sold it for, like, 80 It was insane. Right. Yeah. Um, Sasha says, Dan and Bob, you cool and awesome dudes. Thank you. So I feel like Sasha's saying that once a day. Sasha's trying to dating us, Bob. Oh, no. Look out. Do not from our town. By order of the king, we can't allow outsiders in. Now, get moving. <laughs> get one, moving. That, that voice acting is hilarious. It may not be good, but I appreciate it. Good morning, Murdyville. Hey, Murdy. How's it going? The amount of faithfulness in the worst ways imaginable <laughs> right. to the original. Like, clipping an area right there. Right there where my sword just hit sent me, like, to another load. Like, it loaded an, uh, the village. Uh. And it's just like, you could at least have me walk all the way off screen. You know, lock the camera, don't follow me. Instead, it's all you touched an invisible wall, now you're going in there. Grav or Gravian says... I'm going to go out and live and say they didn't record this music on the original system user. It doesn't quite sound like the SPC 700 is producing the sound. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but we have a Super NT. And the Super NT has an SPC player. So, <laughs> here's my idea. We're gonna check it ourselves. And you know, the stream is on the other end of a very lossy connection. Right. So, if they can tell, despite everything that's going on, then there's a problem. Yeah, no, I mean, it doesn't sound good. Like, even I can tell it that. It just doesn't. I'm, I'm really bad you, with audio you, stuff. Yeah, well, no. You're, you're not great with audio stuff. Really bad is where we put aggro. Okay. <laughs> Agra's like, I can't tell my TV is compressing everything down to a 10 decibel dynamic range. And I'm like, are, are you okay? <laughs> we need Mert to get him to a hospital. Brady says, everything's great. I'm enjoying my morning coffee now. How are you doing? <laughs> We're playing Secret of Mana on the PS4. I'm playing kinda... SD2 SNES full of legit rips. Yes. Here we go. Okay, so we were just... We were... I'm, I'm glad that that fits really well. I'm, yeah, I'm, that's why, like, the Super NT is worth its weight in fucking gold. Right. I didn't have to switch capture cards. I didn't have to reframe shit. It just worked. So what was that, forest theme, or...? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean... This obviously sounds better. But. Yeah. Yeah. Just as X seems pleased that we should already quit. <laughs> we did quit. We just we just booted this up to show it's show just... it how bad it was and point at it and then <laughs> it's like when the dog pees on the rug and you like yeah, and you drag start... it out and put it in its face and, and then... you make it play Mega Man DOS. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Like that. You, you raise dogs. You know how it is. Yes. You know what's a cool sound? This. It is really quiet on the Super NT. It is. I can, I can turn it up for us. And then they just, they just go F themselves. Because that's a little bit harder. <laughs> Take the Point Master is pretty excited about Mega Man DOS. <laughs> Mega Man DOS is so bad. <laughs> right? 
Yeah. I, it's better. I don't know what else I was expecting. Is right? It? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. <sighs> I'm just going to turn off the Super NES controller one moment. <laughs> it's very important. Not a weird anachronism at all? I called it a PS4 controller just now, didn't I? I think you said it. I said yes. I have such a bad problem with that. Okay. Yeah, it just sounds kind of like... Like, I'm sure they got an analog capture if it was the original thing. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no sharpness to any instruments. Yeah. Or sounds. Like, I guess that makes sense. But... Just to make this play the one game with the viewing seal that bumps into trees again. In Brett Skinner, we will not play your Mega Man DOS levels. We won't do it. <laughs> Stab him while he's down. Yeah, see what I... You saw that. Where it stabbed him and then it waited a second and then it yeah. hit him. Like, that was excusable on the SNES for a game that was, like, pushing the boundaries of what our RPGs were. By the way, did you know Quintet was founded by some of the people who made, like, Nihon Falcom? So, like, original directors of Ease? That's great. So that's why they're badass, and then they burn out. Like, what? I... Oh, my God. I didn't even touch him. I came nowhere near that dude, and it just knocked me unconscious. I just... I just... Secret of Anna, but the original soundtrack was ripped at 64 kil kilobytes per second MP3. Yeah, okay. Now Morphle wants us to turn this stream into a podcast. Every stream's a podcast if you have the right attitude. You know, I do love that some of the newer uh, Mega Maker fans were like, you guys should do podcasts, and it's like, lol, we did. No one came. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you for the last seven years? I was eight! Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> How does she look? Yes! Yes! Welcome to Neko. Do you need anything? That sounds like a boy. Yeah. I don't think that's... Is Neko supposed to be a boy? Is that supposed to be a party member? Or? Also, that, that does not look as good as I was hoping. Oh, I can get a rabbi cap. I don't think I can wear it. Okay, so there's a... Oh my god. Okay. What's there's that? a quality of life thing that's also missing here. Okay. How do I know if I can wear these? I don't know, Dan. How do you know? I would apparently flash. What? The original game, it pops up with icons of who can wear things. <laughs> this is bad. I don't know. Man, I have no idea. This is nuts. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. We're we're done here. I did not expect that voice. Polite <laughs> <laughs> Canuck says, Welcome to the Echoes. I'm doing a bad Cartman impression. Yeah, it sounds like that or a terrible Genkai. <laughs> like the world's worst Genkai impersonation. <laughs> yeah, this is this is dismaying. This is not how I'm gonna play through this game with Tosh. Absolutely not. Yeah, no. That's... It loses so much of its charm. <sighs> that's sad. Because that's how I wanted to do it. Like it's an easy way to do it. You're right. I okay. mean, now you have the Super NT at least, so that's easy. <laughs> What? That's our leader, Major Dylan. <laughs> Major D Doc. It's like they're buried you under the sound of the music too, too, right? I've never seen the Major Wave. Major Dylan. Understood. Stay focused, men. Let's move out. <laughs> the animation of them walking didn't match up with their movement speed at all. I, that I sound was the most inaccurate thing so far. Listen. I wish I let the Super NT on. I don't even know why I turned it off. I clearly want to keep going back and forth to prove how fucking ter nice tree line. Oh nice. my god, really? Nice. That's what it's supposed to be? Yeah. Those are the it tops of trees. This is a forest. 
Are you supposed to be way above him, I guess? I'm supposed to be a little bit above him. God. That Fuck. looks like it's... That looks worse than Pokemon um, when they first did 3D. Is it Stadium? No, no, sorry. Uh, for the Mainline series. Like, uh, that looks... Yeah! Me of oh, yeah, no. Like, like X. X. I wish this looked as good as right. X and Y. Oh, man. I was actually thinking uh, the when they did 3D on oh, DS. Pearl? Yeah, Pearl. <laughs> Is, uh, hey, Mr. Feels back. He oh says no. this is real dire. He's right. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is this is so much worse than I imagined. Sasha, don't play this game. <laughs> so, wait, Sasha, like, should uh, I play this? Where's <laughs> Sound of a blender and Sasha bit. reaching it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sasha, no. <laughs> no, she is just saying, don't play this game. Oh, okay. You kind of like delete this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, you said, oh, Sasha, God. don't play this game. Yes. So I was like, no, Luca, no? Is that what we're Basically, doing? Basically. Fine, it's play the game. Like See if I can. Uh, Retro Nutcase right. says the soundtrack here would actually sound decent in the remix, or remake soundtrack. Wait, you mean this little girl is 200 years old? What, what is, is with her face about? right now? Did they face swap her? Why isn't oh, this a cutscene? Oh, you're the one who found the man of sword. Was it a cutscene in the original game? I mean, there's no such thing. <laughs> right, but did it, did it like move your character and stuff? A little bit. <laughs> you underestimate my intelligence. World news flows into the, the weird thing is, I thought one of the things I had to look forward to was a complete retranslation. Uh huh. This is almost verbatim. That's insane. It is, that that whole thing right there. Uh huh. Verbatim. I just, there's no way that translation was actually, like, good. Right? His actions caused the balance of mana in this area to shift. Beasts are now rampaging across the land again. I'm Brent Skinner says, so well, it's better than nothing. <laughs> I can't time him out from here. <laughs> right? Bob's like, I can. <laughs> Dan Mountain wants to know if she gets CNN on these currents. Yes. Seems that way. She, no, only Fox News. <laughs> She's very up to date on current She's events. like an Asian restaurant around here. I can assure you that we cannot outlaw guns. <laughs> um, that seems like really irrelevant to all of this. All this with the monsters? We, we kind of have a real problem going on right now, so if you could stop with the spin zone, that would be... I guess we shouldn't have expected any more than this. I expected a little bit more than this. Alright. Like... Like, the way they just make them act out the exact actions which made sense on a SNES because you couldn't articulate. Fox wants to know if we're excited for Square to do this to more classics we loved. I don't think anyone is. No. <laughs> nice! No, none of that was nice. Were you listening? No! Now, what's worse, this or, um, that sequel to I Am Setsuna? Why did it pick me? Sphere something. <laughs> like, go dog PTSD on that. Right? I don't know. Which is worse, a punch in the dick or a stab in the foot? I, it's like, yeah, eh. I think that they're doing this with their like I guess two of their most treasured franchises. I probably wouldn't feel the punch in the dick after like a day. I'd definitely feel the stab in the foot. Like, you could, you could make a new game in the series. Yeah, you could do so many things. Make a game. Oh my god. That's See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh my god, what? you couldn't make a turning animation. Are you for real? 
Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, they have... They could have worked with the guys who did Bravely Default and made something that was nice. Mm -hmm. Made something that was good. They worked with those guys for years. They did Final Fantasy 3 and 4 remakes. Neither was this embarrassing. Remember how filtering looked advanced on the SNES? <sighs> well, here it is on the PS4. We can do any cool effects. You can now update your sword from the cloud. <laughs> this reel says it's called Tokyo RPG Factory because it cranks out soulless garbage. It's true. Yes, the fact no one else has gotten that is a little weird. Right? I, we got what? Ten minutes into that game and it was like too much? What, I have Zetsuda? Yeah. Yeah, no, it was immediately, like, within ten minutes, you're positive that it's just gonna be a pile of mediocrity nonstop. <laughs> I was like... Oh, so I have this dope spear. Have it. You should probably use it too, I guess. But it's, it's not the mess. Yes, I would like to. I would like to fucking say. Why is there three save files? I think one is has that an audio save. That's got to be a temp save on bottom. That's the only way that makes sense. Right. Mr. Feels hoping they don't do this to Evermore. I mean, I am too, but for completely different reasons. <laughs> I guess they didn't recreate the stepping thing. Because on each step in the original, it would go... And it would have, like... It would it would slow you down a bit, and it would stutter how you move, so that way it was simulating you moving upstairs. Oh. Okay. And thank God it's not doing that. <sighs> yeah, Brent Skinner is wondering what even what ha happened in the development of this, because it seems like... There was obviously some effort. I feel but like just the, not enough to make it good. The remake of Adventure of Mana was better than this. Yeah, someone yeah. else was saying that in here. I was really positive about that. You can go like search gig arts use use our channel search function. You can find us talking about that, I'm sure, in a podcast or something. I was really positive on that. I enjoyed my time with that thoroughly. It was a great experience. <laughs> Like, and a lot of people were upset about the pixel art transition there, but I don't, I don't know. That felt much more solid than this, I j and I felt like that still felt kind of bad when I played it. Oh, it's, it's a goblin. Back. Miss well, was wondering if they used the same, rip. um, same engine they did for that one to make this. Possibly. I mean, and that's the thing. <laughs> you, you need a bit more. Elaborate of an engine to recreate the dense visuals of a SNES game in a pleasant way in 3D. Instead of a Game Boy game. a fucking Game Boy original game. <laughs> Do not move. Stay still. Very lucky human. You will be main dish tonight. No! Well, let me go! Delicious human. Very lucky. <laughs> yeah, is that supposed to be Apollo Lava? That's what, uh... Oh, it's a That's stew. A They're making a stew out of me. Okay. But, also, yes. I'm just in lava and it's fine. <laughs> nice sneaking animation. Yes. <laughs> this is CQC. Yeah, it's a very... <laughs> <laughs> I could Fucking is the scene between Snake and the Ocelot from 3? <laughs> no, it's straight up the scene from Snake and Ocelot in the Twin Snakes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's, he's jumping all around the... <laughs> <laughs> the wire yeah, rope. That would be... Ninjas wow. are attacking. <laughs> oh, man. What are you doing here, you idiot? Uh, yeah, I agree with Mr. Feel on the uh, comments about Link Between Worlds and Link to the Past. Yeah. Like, I don't even... Link Between I don't Worlds. even like the art of Link to the Past that much. On, and I still feel that they didn't quite hit that the level. But, right. But I felt like Adding the full 360 movement really helped that game. Right. It, I my life. <laughs> what are you also, these did, Why are you doing this? <laughs> you didn't do this once before. Now, what is this? I'm looking for someone. I saw you being taken away. We didn't. We didn't want to make portraits. That cost more money, more money to draw to get an artist to draw a portrait. Wait a minute. <laughs> She just starts yelling, just kidding, like she's the character she's Soul Calibur. <laughs> 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 
Yes, Brent Skinner, it is a dating sim now, you're right. Oh, man. We should just give control over to Sasha. Sasha knows what to do. <laughs> you're both pleasant, shows up every day to say that and hand them a flower. <laughs> I'm trying to not be angry. I'm trying. It's, this isn't easy. Right? Man. There was so much... There's so many quality quality of life things you could have improved. Right. And instead, you kept every bad aspect from fucking the original. Like, why do I have a weirdly limited inventory still? What's up with that? Just like this, get angry, Dad. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Hands gun. Do it. I just, it just, I can't. Dan, Dan. Okoto? <laughs> what? Oko Okota? Okota? I, I think he means the character you were referring to. Oh, Okako? Okako. Yeah. That's probably what he's referring to, but it's not spelled right. That's 64 Master. Uh, let's see. You can up your inventory cap for stackable items to 12 in this version, so you can carry 12 candles and such. Oh, okay. Candles? Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Retro, in that case. Giving us all the insider info on this. Yeah, Rick, or... yeah Firehawk was saying Retro, in that case, uh, was playing this yesterday or something. I, I... Okay, I guess I haven't gave it, given any precedence why this game is uh, uh, cherished by me. Um, it was my first game I ever owned. Uh, it was the first RPG I got into. Oh, candy. Sorry. Yeah, I was like, candles? What the fuck? He probably said candy. Probably. But Bob wouldn't have misread the word candy twice, right? That would be insane. Let me see. Oh, sorry, the I oh, in okay. there it looked like an L to me. Uh, it's spelled correctly in the game, so it was a typo either way. What's up with you? That's that's a man pretending to be a woman. Oh. Listen. Weird. Uh, Retro K says he finished this remake earlier. Oh wow, he already plowed through it. But yeah, um, and this was one of those games that was stolen from me. Except for in this case, I know who did it. Unlike the other cases. God, I hate that I have so many stories that are that. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. Look how the fuck. Case is saying that he en er, he enjoyed it and is less critical than us, but he didn't well, use mean, English voice actors. We have we have a really great way to play this game. It's the original. Mister Peel says he, he appreciates how the mini map has almost some or some degree of charm. Just right. Yes. Like, no. Like, like that's the major feature over the adventure, he Mana. Retro cases says that the Japanese voices are much better. Or do right. you not have a frame of reference for Japanese believability? <laughs> it could be anything. But no, I'm I'm sure it sounds all right. Brent Skinner says it's like the game has been stolen from you again. <laughs> <laughs> that probably should have made me laugh that hard. I probably should have been sad over that. <gasps> So the cool thing was, I actually didn't have to come here to get her. I could have gone straight to the cave, uh -huh. to Gaia's navel, to do the thing that Sage Luca told me to do. And then she'd just find you? Um, no, I would eventually come here. There would oh, be okay. more of a plot reason to come here eventually. Or I'd run into her elsewhere. I thought that hair might have had physics to it, and then I realized it's just an animation where it just blows back and forth. It's really bad looking. Look at it over there. It's like a crazy Venus flytrap thing. <laughs> her cape is going to eat her one day. Is that a sword? I didn't know you were a swordsman. What, this? No, I'm actually... <laughs> what? Uh, I'm not a furry, I swear. What? No, I came why? from a Halloween party. It's April. <laughs> this is perfect. They, they kept having scheduling problems and had to keep pushing it back. I need to teach that witch a lesson. But I have to go to the underground palace. Save that for... Come on, let's go. Um... Jet Lee 311's in here. Been game about the original game uh, and saying it had people have nostalgia glasses on when they talk about it. Who? And it what? Yeah, Jet Lee. I think people have nostalgia glasses when it comes to this game. The soundtrack is great, but the game itself wasn't all we crack it up to be. I mean, 
I came to this version because I wanted them to fix the problems with the original. They haven't fixed anything. It's all pretty rough. Let's see if it can fit. Why is there a Why? star? I, I hit space and it did that. No, okay, Becky with the hair won't fit. Um... That's a name. <laughs> Let's go with that. Da, da, da. Bob's a girl. <laughs> Dan Man wanted you to call her Eduardo. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe he too watched the Hey Arnold movie. <laughs> He's like, I love the Hey Arnold movie. It's so bad. So, because we met up with her here, mm -hmm. you probably missed the dialogue. Um, my character was like, I, I can't help you with your fucking boyfriend kidnapped by a witch. I have to go to Gaia's Nival. And she's like, fuck that! Help me save my boyfriend! Oh, okay. So, that's a thing. Alright. Um, that we can do. <sighs> yeah, I mean, there were problems in the original. I came to this version not because I wanted the most amazing art. I just wanted a better version in the original. And I, I feel kind of sad that, like, Right, everyone in this town. Everyone in this town is Floridians, and thus fucked up on basalts. <laughs> what? Uh, let me let me see. I'll I'll just head in this I house. Need to, I need to see those. Are they all like? No, they just, for the they house? do that. What? Every single person in this town. Weird. There's okay. a reason. All right, as long as there's a reason. There's a reason. But yeah, I mean, I love the original game. I've replayed it since it was stolen multiple times. There are problems, but I feel like this hasn't meaningfully solved any of them. Like, look, we just queued up multiple hits. Like, that's absurd. This is a PS4 game. Like, Yeah, it's like that they, they feel like there was some charm to the bad feeling combat that was almost action based, but not really. Yeah, I mean, it was a really rough action base, like super rough. Yeah. Like, and that was fine for when it was. Yeah. Like, as far as SNES action RPGs go, you know, still one of the better ones. I mean, it's not um, like Terranigma was out yet, just to be like, hey. Right, that, I'm, was, I'm, that was way later. <laughs> that was way later, and then absolutely amazing. Also, like, Terranigma's scope is a different thing. Like... How so? Well, I mean, this this world is really fucking huge. Like, I, I get the feeling from Terranigma, like, we haven't beaten it, mm -hmm. but from every video I've ever seen, that its scope isn't as... Absolutely massive as Secret of Manas. Okay, I don't, I don't, I'm not aware of how big this gets. It's just like Secret. Does this have a world map at some point? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like, and that's one of the best parts of this. How, how, how much do you like luck dragons, Bob? I don't know. Do you know what a luck dragon is? <laughs> not really. How much do you like the never-ending story? Um, not enough to know what the luck, a luck dragon is, obviously. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like it's you a, know the fucking the puppet from the Neverending yes, Story. That's a dragon. Is that the luck dragon? That's a luck dragon. I, I guess so. They okay. stole that shit. <laughs> cool. It is pretty great because as a kid, you don't notice that. You go, I like this thing, and then you watch the other thing, and you're like, I like this thing too. I like things like this. That's what you say. <laughs> So, uh, Jolly says, it feels to me that it takes longer for your attacks to recharge than the original game. Do you feel that way? Um, it might be a little bit slower, yeah. Here, swing. Yeah, that feels a little bit slower. Just a little. But it's in the, it's in the same ballpark. Let's see if I can force this bitch to go to the cave. Because I feel like I can. Wait. Okay. Hey there. Hello, stranger. I think, I think just this egg is falling asleep. <laughs> or just putting a ton of X's into- Okay, what else is going on? <laughs> it's just a bunch of emoji X's and Z is sleeping. Oh! We have a cannon? It just shoots up. Okay, here we go. This is the test. How bad is this remake? I think- Fuck you! Oh! Did- was there supposed to be some animation there? It's so good! It's this remake. Whoa. Man, that guy sounds really mad. This <laughs> is <sighs> Mr. Feel, what is Twisted Tales of S of Spike McFang? <laughs> I 
I don't think Dan's gonna be okay, guys. I think that, so was there like an animation of them flying through the air and? Yes, and it shows the world map and you fly over the whole damn thing spinning wildly because they fired you out of a cannon. Oh. And then you, and then, one second. I gotta, I gotta kill this thing so I can gesture with my hand freely. Well, I guess she's got <laughs> discovered. When it cuts to this map, uh -huh. because it shows you flying over and it's mode seven and it's really great, right? Right. Really great use of mode seven. It cuts to this, and your characters slam into the ground from the sky, and you're literally lying there for a second recovering. Like, it's really charming. It's like, of course that would be how being fired out of a cannon would be. So the enemies are, like, moving around and stuff while you're just like... Ugh. God. <laughs> and there was so much opportunity for embellishment there, you know? But, but instead it's nothing. They literally cut it out entirely. This costs the same as fucking Shadow of the Colossus! The remake! Like, yes. They could have sold so many more copies of this if they just fucking tried. Like, if they if they really... No wonder it was, like, and, only know, released at GameStop. And like, here's the thing, right? Everyone, Everyone's like, oh, you know... These lazy devs. I'm not saying these lazy devs. I'm saying Square Enix set out from the beginning to not spend shit on this game. Like, this is an incredibly cynical product. They wanted to cash in on an old game they had. And they didn't want to try that hard. Like, they didn't want to spend that much money. They didn't want to... I... Yeah. Toad says he, so he needs to get himself a drink, because he can't handle any more of his sober. <laughs> Even to feel got back to me on what the heck that game was, it's uh, apparently a SNES action RPG. Um, I've heard of it. I don't think I've ever seen it. Maybe. Where was he during the Super NT stream? I don't know. He's like, I work a job at normal times of day. And I'm like, me too. <laughs> Man, hope I don't accidentally launder money by not doing this transaction correctly. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Let's just say now that I do <laughs> other things, maybe right. I should sleep more before my shifts. Right, because money laundering, it turns out, is pretty illegal. Pretty illegal! This guy seems like he's done the up and up, though. Maybe I can launder his money. <laughs> I'm sure he'll put it to good use in other countries, buying weapons. <laughs> yeah, I don't... It's frustrating that they, they, they're willing to do this. I mean, I just... I didn't have... My bar wasn't here! I didn't expect them to make Shadow of the Colossus! It's just... Like, look at the, look at the cave wall there. That's like a texture, just wrapped. Yeah. Just as curious how you accidentally money laundering. <laughs> no, I ain't. <laughs> I'm not accidentally doing that. It's just I, I handle money. I do certain things. I, la I, launder, I launder money, okay? There, I said <laughs> I just don't want to do it accidentally, okay? <laughs> Welcome back, Box. <laughs> yeah, the... the the range of things the square will put out is insane. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I feel like they're uh -huh. Uh -huh. they're definitely one of those Japanese companies that still still isn't recovered properly in working as a full dev team. Didn't they say I could ch change characters with R1? I thought it was D-pad. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. That's I mean, that's smooth. Noise. That's something. Bob, you're unconscious. <laughs> oh no. See, I would have made Bob the sprite, but he's not short enough. <laughs> no, Fox. I'm sure they did this and were like, yeah, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> They they had a brunch after this. <laughs> what was it? Somebody was like, "Hey, are we getting like in that interview with the producer of Pop Team Epic?" They're like, "Hey, are we getting a season two? And he's like, "I'm really just trying to survive this." <laughs> oh, like, what? Vox is bringing up the Final Fantasy VI mobile remake and yeah. how it exists and yeah. it was approved. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I mean, this is kind of that. Yeah, this is that tier. But it's for Dan, because like Secret Mana isn't broad enough. It could be! It could be a fucking... Dan, you don't know where you're going, do you? 
Yeah, no, it, it's definitely one of those classic, if they just okay. worked on it properly, a new entry would appeal to a lot of people. Yeah. But it's not like it has to trade on its name. It can trade on being a good game. Right. None of the Mana series had, like, a necessity for continuity that was immense. Like, Legend of Mana basically isn't... Like, there's no way both are canon. That doesn't make a ton of sense. Mm -hmm. Also, man, Mr. Feel must also be personally attacked by this because he loves Legend of Mana. Legend of Mana looks unbelievably good. Yeah. That game's art style is incredible. And here we are. You know how devastated, you know how devastated kid me would be if you showed them like, here's what Shadow of the Colossus looks like in 2018. Wow, here's what Secret of Mana looks like. He just- Hey, this isn't the way to the witch's castle. Where are you going? Where are you going? Underground palace. So is this where, I assume this is not where her boyfriend yeah, is. Yeah, I'm, I'm sending- You can go by yourself. I'm not going in there. So what are you gonna do? Ugh, you're stubborn. Fine, I'll find Dialog on my own. See you around. Oh, Dialog is that guy you saw earlier. Yep. So you just kicked her out of your party. That's, that's cruel, Dan. See you, Bob. <laughs> I got important things to do. In this place, too! Look at it! It's just a shitty texture wrapped around like a flat polygon wall! Ugh. Take that. Because it's Vita and PS4. We gotta make it as simple as possible. Did Mr. Feel say anything about the Legend of Mana comment? And... Not yet. Because I'm curious. One, if he's still here. Two, it's like, I don't know. I just... Box is laughing and says the. They'll do this to Legend of Mana next. No, That's they'll cruel. do it to Second Densetsu 3 next. Toad asked that if this even has multiplayer. Dan? It does. Okay. There you go. There's wait. Something. Wait. Oh, Mr. Feel a while ago said, please do not put even put them doing this to Legend of Mana into my mind. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's sick. And yet, given the current track record, you can see it happening. Uh, okay, Mr. Feel's still here. He says, luckily, I think they'd ruin sec Second Death Set 2 3. Uh, obviously. It's the obvious move. Because yeah. a bunch of people will, like, as they already have in the stream, give that a pass because we've never got an official US version. Which I understand that idea. So these are the slimes. You can basically keep killing them forever and get a billion experience. Oh, yeah? Which is kind of what I'm doing, whether intentionally or not. Don't worry, Vox. They've basically already uh, made those music changes with this with this game. Oh, yeah. We oh. just have it on the on the oh. new soundtrack. Oh, Vox doesn't know. No, I don't think so. Yeah. She, she's comparing yeah. it to like X3's OST between SNES and PS1. Here we go. I wonder how techno-y this song gets. Oh, there's the accordion. I've heard so much of it. I've heard, I've heard legend. <laughs> Legend tells of the accordion. <sighs> Mr. Feel says, so you're saying the Densetsu 3 might be one of the most gorgeous SNES games to 2, so it'd be really, really bad. Yeah. And here's the official release of the really beautiful game in the worst art style possible. Yep, that, that's pretty accurate if they just gave us something like that and didn't. <sighs> imagine if... Imagine, <laughs> uh. imagine roles reverse, right? This game looks incredible. Mind-bending. Better than most Xbox One games. And Shadow of the Colossus is shell-shaded and simply textured. <laughs> Looks like a goddamn PSP game. That would be hilarious. It would be hilarious, but even more tragic, I feel. It'd be so farcical. It's like, what happened? Are you... Is this performance art? What's going on here? Hi, Fark. TM. <laughs> Wait, Fark? Okay, yeah. He's playing through this game himself. Oh, okay. There's a lot of negativity here. Not because we like hating on things, we really don't, but... And my... Really? Imagine if Climate Colossus was a QTE, says Mr. Feel. Yeah, oh, Yeah, man. yeah, Lords of Shadow. 
Oh, yeah, we already have a perfect example of exactly how that would be. <laughs> you have a person, you have an NPC screaming at you nonstop to do the thing right. As the cheap ass enemy AI keeps stun locking you like I'm stun locking this goblin. Jets Blake says they should uh they should remake the Dragon Ball Game Boy Advance RPGs like this. And then I had the thought of those Dragon Ball DS games were better than this. Like they looked better, they played better. Which one was the They were set in the original Dragon Ball universe, you just it controlled Goku. It... DS? Yeah, on DS. I'm not sure I've seen it, because I, all I can think of is Legacy of Goku, which is a Game Boy Advance game. Right, right, which is also better than this. Yes, but it, that it, had a very charming art style. But that DS one uses 3D art. Uh -huh. It's very much in this sort of lo-fi range, but mm -hmm. it actually felt fun to play and looked pretty nice. Like, they they did what they could with the DS, of all things. But it looked basically on par with the Zelda games on there. Bob, you own a... That Ninja Gaiden, that Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword game, yes. right? We should probably do a video on that just to have a good video of that on the internet. Yeah. Because I know for a fact no one's done a high quality video of that. It's true. Someone's like, are you gonna are you gonna do a retro boots of it? I'm like, why would that be a retro boots? That's not what's that? How many years has it been? <laughs> <laughs> What year is it? As I have, like, straight up Logan beer. <laughs> Mr. Feel says Lords of Shadow seems bad until you realize Lords of Shadow 2 exists and can see how bad things can get. It's true. <laughs> that doesn't make it. No. <laughs> like, Lords of Shadow 1, not bad, though. No. It's, it's and just I mean, like, they went deeper. <laughs> the the <laughs> art on one? Yeah. It's definitely. really good. It's definitely way better. It, it, I think its largest problems. Like, its number one largest problem. Maybe the writing in Lords of Shadow. Yeah, I mean, because then the way oh my I, God. I, all the combat feels is just so bad. I mean, it can be way worse. It, it, We've experienced way worse. It's possible. Yeah, I just I'm, I'm I trying. feel like its largest problem is the writing because most games don't like. Oh, the Baba Yaga! Oh, she was she was so tortured. I killed her. I'm not the bad guy. Move along. <laughs> like what? No, you're you're really obviously the bad guy. What? That's, that's hours from the end of that game. In right. case you forgot. No, like, I don't. I, that game is like a millennia long. <laughs> I believe I would if you told me any of his days from the end. If, uh, Lords of Shadow is an 80-hour long RPG on the PlayStation 2. <laughs> if you told me any one scene in that game was hours from the end, I'd believe you. <laughs> what if I told you the music box was hours from the end of the game? Yes. Because it felt like I spent hours in the music box. <laughs> it felt like Satan like the showed fact up you and, and Jay then five were, hours later. Like, you and Jay did. apparently had the worst goddamn night, most nightmarish time with that. I'm like, I don't know. It, it honestly didn't cock block me that bad. I'm not saying it was well designed at all. I just... I think a lot I, of that came down to it, it gave you no indication that... There was a movement like it wanted you to do. Like, oh yeah, if you hit the button or the the jump button while you're hanging from the rope in this one instance, it won't drop you. It'll oh you no, jump. that was that was a different. Wait, maybe that maybe that was there. But they had done that once already by that point. Probably. So there was reason to doubt any level of consistency. Yes, Mr. Field. We remember when Dracula just yells, "What is a man?" at the beginning of Lord's Shadow 2, and how that didn't make any sense. It was just there because it was a line we knew. Ugh. And it made I us feel regret Ill. knowing it. <laughs> I remember when every single random enemy was named after a, like, classic Castlevania oh, yeah. villain in yeah. Lords of Shadow 1, though. Like, and then they Bronner. ran out, so 2 has just, like, well, what if, um, shit. What if Medusa was the chick from the ring? Huh? What if that? Gorgons. They could be scary Japanese horror horror movie characters. They probably are. I don't know. I've never seen a Japan. <laughs> we should stop talking about Lords of Shadow. That's like the While only playing thing. This. The yeah. only thing worse than this. <laughs> well, okay, no, not the only thing. But it's it, like no, we played a game recently that was worse than this. What was it? And then I I feel like I may have blocked out. So. I mean, Tyson so, Warriors 9 was super disappointing. There we go. That, that hurt. Oh, At least God. this is playable. Right? Like that. 
that's just that's some bad dynasty words. Yeah, that was that we've was... taken a lot from that series over time, but holy shit, right? That was like, a big I, act. I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know it could go that that deep. Like I thought that they they'd already shown how bad they could get, but then there's like no. I mean, yeah, six balloon level zero. Yeah, they cast the spell balloon on me. Ah, Murdyville says Sonic Horses story is hilarious. Intentionally oh, or not? It's not. I mean, we played a little bit of that. I mean, we laughed at it because it's like Sonic's being tortured in a space facility, and it gets to Sonic, and he's just bullshitting with his guard, right? It's like he's been doing this for three months. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, Sonic just—he has no chill. <laughs> I guess it was weird of me to expect Sonic. Oh, it does automatically take cap uh, control. Kind of like the SNES one. But yeah, um... Is there a more faithful translation of Secret of Mana? Does anyone in the chat know? Because I, I think I want to do that with Tosh. And Samurai... What's up? Samurai Goomba is bringing up the Chrono Trigger remake would look like this, but... Yeah, no, they have that other... Our Tokyo RPG Factory making games that are basically... That are trading on the fucking nostalgia for Chrono Trigger. Speaking of which, the producer of Pop Team Epic was asked, Do you like Chrono Trigger? And he's like, I freaking love it! <laughs> like, there's so many people who love that game. How... What is wrong with Square Enix? It's incredible. Like, like they're, they're terrified to put money behind anything other than Kingdom Hearts. Which is Fall weird, 57. because if you made a Final Fantasy 13 budgeted Chrono Trigger game with, like, time travel and shit... Yeah, so instead of making 13-2, they just made a Chrono Trigger game. Even if it was that, that level of production. Oh, yeah. That would have sold unbelievably. Yeah. Because that had the most basic of town travel, and then it, it just had all this junk roping into the first game that didn't even make sense. Hire a writer. <laughs> Good first step for an RPG. Yes. <laughs> God, they need people who can write a square in this. <laughs> oh, man. I have what if lightning was a god? What if Why? she was a god and her sister was a devil? <laughs> and Hope's a guy. That's your take on Hope? Yup. Just some guy, I guess. Just some guy. He's still got the beanie. <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> Mr. Spiel says that I am such as pe for people who want Chrono Trigger except it's bad and with Final Fantasy X's plot. That's a YouTube poop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. And is it Final Fantasy X's plot? It is similar, because you're Cause guiding a, a girl who's going to go sacrifice herself to save the world. That's what Ten did? Yeah. Oh. That was the exact same plot. And, 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 but you don't get amazing lines like, you know what I do when I'm sad? Right. <sighs> he says to a girl who's about to be murdered. God, I... Oh, man. <laughs> it's amazing that as, like, video games went on, a lot of Western studios, like... You know, the smarter ones, right? Uh-huh. They hired great writers. And then a lot, mostly the Japanese ones and stuff. They just threw the writers right away. Except for Yoko Taro, who's both writer and director. So, like, his games are like, man, this is, like, brilliantly fucking written. What a great goddamn game. And then you come over to what Square's doing. They're like, uh... Bro's hanging out on a car trip. Uh... The guy who's obviously the bad guy is the bad guy. God, everything. Final Fantasy uh, 15 spoilers coming up. You may want to mute me for like, I don't know, let's say 20 seconds. Final Fantasy 15, man. And then he's just like, what's your motivation? Oh, I need you to kill me. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? You mean I have to die to kill you and that's your only goal? You that's literally it. Listen, right? What if I killed you, right? And then you give me the reach around. You kill me back. <laughs> they will both be dead. But it's okay, because, um... We have these quality lanterns for <laughs> for outdoors camping. Oh, no, Mr. Beal is here to chill his Falcom. His what? His Falcom writers. He I, says Falcom stole all the good writers. And now I'm sure he's going to go into Key Ski and how we need to yeah. find everyone. Hell yes, do it. <laughs> Fucking, that's like one of my favorite chains of tweets from him. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, fucking chill. I actually have translation friends who work on that. <laughs> I wanna. I'm, now I'm trying to think of other RPGs that have actually re decently written from Japan anytime recently. I, I really can't. <laughs> oh, no. What's up? 
I thought it was something even worse than them doing this to Second and Sensei 3. Yeah? I do it to Act Racer. Oh no! But the way that plane like already a, felt it solid. Would like an, it would be like an Xbox Live Arcade game. Because you'd have a 3D model and site profile and its animations would look shitty as it's sliding through the environment. Okay, Tamar Goomba, Lost Odyssey is now like 10 years old. No, it's older than that. Well, the Xbox is what, 11? The 360? The, the 360, Bob, is 13 years 13? old at the end of this year. Jesus, okay. Yeah, Lost Odyssey is like 12 years old. It came out in 06, didn't it? I came Square out the is same. getting its writers from WWE, apparently. I like that. <laughs> it's I, getting it from what? WWE. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. are the best. Mr. Feel asks if Square Enix owns Actraiser. Yeah, they oh. own Enix. Enix owns Actraiser. Okay. Quintet yeah. isn't a company anymore. Quintet? <laughs> Five-titted monster, the Quintet. At least they added one element that wasn't in the original. Shrigoi says Final Fantasy XII was the last uh, Final Fantasy was any sort of quality writing. I, I I can't even agree with that. Like I don't know. There might have been something good in there, but oh man, there's man, so much that bad. Game, that game is so... What was it? Recently somebody pointed out... Hi, Zen, Zangaku. Mr. Feel says 14 has good writing, but the, that's an MMO, so um, I'm not gonna play that. <laughs> Martyville says he watched Pokemon Sun and Moon yesterday because Meowth met a, lo a Lolan mouth. Meowth. Nice. Did he talk about MRA? <laughs> Probably. You know how I do. Coffee 12 is like vagrant story, but worse. Yeah, that, that's that's probably right. One night is. But yeah, somebody pointed out how much like the Star Wars Star Wars prequels Final Fantasy 12 was, and then I watched a lot of you playing it. Uh huh. And yeah, it's just like weirdly. Q -Q. <laughs> Where's your voice coming from? Oh, I'm standing in this room right over here. Come on. <laughs> like in hey, huge. Man. Are you protecting me? Yes. Man, that I model looks great. Why didn't you zoom in on that for some sort of cutscene when I first met her? People on your side during your journey. The audio balance is so bad. Yeah, it is. Hero has a nice ring to it. No, like, like she's louder well, than him for some reason. Can't yeah. With some rusty old blade like this one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people in here are blaming the, uh, <laughs> the some of the bad writing of Final Fantasy XII on following Vaughn, and I'm like, no, that's that's the least of the problems. Like, well, I mean, the weird thing is, like, apparently, you're, like your main character. Yeah, he's not supposed to be the main character. That's fine. Right. Yeah, and that's that's fucking weird because yeah. I feel like yeah. Probably would have been a better game if they didn't focus on him. Right. And everyone's begging to follow the Skyfire, and it's like, well, it was supposed to follow the Exiled play. Knight. Right. Which would be very vagrant story. Very vagrant story. <laughs> I don't. It was like Just Zeg's rage quitting our stream, I think. <laughs> He's what? Rage quitting our stream? What? <laughs> <laughs> the sound is overpowering. <laughs> That would be great if they said that at one <laughs> yes. point. Yes. But then it would also be infuriating because it's like, don't make jokes about how bad you are, that makes me angry! <laughs> Bob, I, I'm gonna need a break here. Can we, can we, uh, can we get some amiibos yeah, going? Yeah, okay. Just, how do, how hey, who's gonna that? vote for amiibos? I mean, yeah, I, got all the, I got lots of amiibos. We, we got, got all the amiibos. You wanna see amiibos, Bayna? Okay, which, which input are we splatoon. doing? You should, you should wake that up. Here we go. We're gonna do this. We're just gonna take a nice little break. Get some amiibos going. Come on, turn on. Do you know which input is going? It's on. It's gonna be on seven. 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 Enjoy the interview with Pop Team Epic. Man, why is this? Good thing you didn't have pornography on that screen. <laughs> like, you gotta poke the fucking yeah. switch. Why is, it being, why is it being like this? Okay. Now All right. Work. Now it's connected. Okay, here we go. All right. I like how it's we over there D &D. before it's over here. Okay, we got some Dieters. Yeah, you want to okay, do Okay, here D &D. we go. Yeah, let's do here it. Here we go. Let's do it. You, yeah. Okay. 
They know something came in from the Fight Club of yours. Strange thing, blah, 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 blah. Smash Brothers joke. Okay. And then I get stuff. It's kind of it's trash, but... Okay, did you do Rob? I haven't done, you know, we haven't done... Cloud? Cloud. I feel like... Male Bayonetta? <laughs> yeah, male Bayonetta. Okay, let's let's do it. <laughs> Bayonetta. You gotta, you gotta... Yeah, I gotta get that. There we go. Ah, uh, well, because they're all Smash. Yeah, but... All of our dudes are Smash. Uh, you should do Charizard next. I bet Charizard probably has one, even though it's the Smash right, he's a Amiibo. <sighs> okay, uh, do... Because there's a special one for Splatoon. Samus. Splatoon, there, there we go. Oh, yeah, this should have a special one. Yeah. I can't believe it did Charizard. It's messed up. In Coplis, you're just gonna, or are they squids? Whatever. Always wanted to check out their turf. They've got a fresh weapon smith I want to talk shop with. <laughs> That's pretty great. Yeah, I'd, I'd love them to add a Nintendo Zapper into Bayonetta. Yeah. That'd give me a lot of halos. That would be pretty great if she had some zappers and she was just like doing really dumb shit. Yeah, they could have the bazillion move set from the first game. Yeah. That'd be cool. I know Jeez. what that is, and I agree. They're the laser guns. Uh... They look like, kind of like Radius chips. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, maybe, maybe they did something with Fire Emblem. Maybe we can... <laughs> get, get Ike, or... Uh-huh. Wait, wait. Palutena, yeah. <sighs> there we go. Oh, we're, we're done from the... Of course, yeah. of course. You should do Mega Man. Mega Man, yeah, sure. It would be disrespectful to reduce him down to just another Smash Amiibo. <sighs> That's sad. Come on. Come on, Platinum. He's Mega Man. Okay, you know what? You guys didn't expect this, but now this is happening. Man, this is turbo unbalancing my, uh... My... My, uh, halos, but who cares? Take that. Yeah. Hello, guys, and welcome to our unboxing. Of oh, no. Mario Odyssey. Oh, no. Amiibo triple set. Yeah, I guess I don't have any Mario. It's, I have Kirby uh, Amiibo if you want to do that before we go into that. Oh, sure. Because, yeah. I mean, Kirby's... Wait, this is Jigglypuff. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yeah, Bob, no, yeah. Go ahead and scan no, not... Jigglypuff. I'm sure that'll work it's out. It's Jigglypuff. Charizard, we're great. <laughs> but, uh, here we go. We're gonna scan it. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna be angry. Because <laughs> I hadn't opened this yet. Right? It's from the launch of Mario, which was recent. Oh, that's cool. Like, the whole thing's one piece that hinges. Yeah, yeah, they, they got nice boxes. They do have nice boxes. I'm gonna glue this shit back together after this. <laughs> oh, doing Bowser? Yeah, we're gonna do Bowser, see if he talks about how sharp he looks. Okay. Wow, that's, that's got some heft. Yeah, Bowser is heavy, dude. Mushroom Kingdom, even with all the golf, tennis, and go-karting, uh, yeah, okay. So that seems like a generic that one seems, for all Mario. Seems like but we got Chain Chomp! Mario. Oh, hey! Chain Chomp's the weapon, so... And that's awesome! That's pretty cool! That's great! We get rewarded for all of our plastic DLC. Okay, let's get Princess. She's a lady. She kicks ass. There should be a joke here. There should be. <sighs> it's gonna be the same for all of them. There's like, ah, here's... But it got me the, uh, the Couture Mushroom Bill. Kingdom pr Bullet. Princess. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, outfit. Yeah. And that actually has Bowser hands that come out instead of the, the hair hands. Yeah, it's great. We should, you should show that off after this, but here, let me get this last Yeah, maybe one. maybe we'll have enough Halos to buy it, because I think it was added for purchase, but maybe it just gave it to us. I think it would be really annoying if, there's... if they just, like, let you buy it after... That's the... Pressing. And he doesn't even give- he just gives you money. This is fucking Mario! This is Tuxedo Mario! Fucking God. Let's see. I, I just, is it in here to buy? Okay, no, it gave it to yep. us. Okay, that's good. Alright. Can't believe I fucking- Oh well. If any of them should give it to you, right? Uh-huh. It should be Peach. Right. That right. checks out. So are you loading up an area so you can change? Yeah, I have to. I'll have to quit out of this level. So we need to load up level and then and then quit out the level. Quit out the level. Perfect. Perfect. You're on chapter one. Yes. Wow. Wow. It's almost like you haven't had time to play it. Huh. Okay. So, all right. I guess Get I'm putting that away and then gluing it back together and pretending. 
to Tosh. <laughs> that I never opened. All right. So never know. we got fucking ridiculous, yeah. Sue Daisy, because you know that's so, not Daisy Peach. That's so fucking ridiculous looking. Jesus. Yeah, I'm sure she won't notice. Oh yeah, I'm Maybe sure. Put a little light amount of glue there. Okay, that's amazing. Look at that. Murdyville said for a split second I thought Dan was wearing a shirt with the drawing of Ham Zeon on it. <laughs> that would be pretty hilarious. I wish we turned into some sort of weird Mario's themed panther. What would that be? Oh, a Jaxi. <laughs> it would be pretty great if it was a Jaxi. It would. Yeah. You know, I don't like Bayonetta because it's bad. It's bad to she's bad to women. She's bad to women. Yep, that makes sense. That sounds you like the it. words of a good comedian. Is there sound right now? I think something's weird with the way it's coming through. I don't know. I think it's just insanely quiet. Maybe because you turned it down to oh, thirteen. Yeah. Jesus, that's why. Ha! <laughs> okay. That's almost worth wearing that outfit for. <laughs> that's hilarious. Like, it doesn't animate, basically. It just right. shoves out, like... Oh. So, Bob, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much better than Wonderful 101 is Bayonetta? <laughs> You're only saying that because Mr. Feels here. Oh, God, that was his book going straight what you're up. That's hilarious. About. I don't. I was. It's a real question, and I'm uh -huh. very curious. I don't know what you're on about. What does Mr. Feel care? <laughs> Hell yeah, he's not. No one likes Wonderful 101. <laughs> oh, and Nick's coins drop instead of, uh, instead of rings. So that's cool. Oh, yeah. Then it makes the coin proper noise. coin sound. That's neat. Okay, we should yeah. either get back to our game or it's 3.30 in the morning. We should stop. Maybe we should stop. Oh, okay, I guess we'll stop. <laughs> it's, she looks so dumb. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> and people don't know why she's bad to women. Look at her. She has a butt. How dare she? That's Toad says, wouldn't it be 101 times better? <laughs> Bernie Veal says, I like Wonderful 101. There are likable things all over that game. Yeah, the, the cutscenes and stuff are amazing. The, the writing and humor, incredible. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shut us down. Okay. Because we've got to stop at some point. <laughs> right as Fox gets triggered with these bad to women. Ah! That's great. Yeah, no. No, it's terrible. She just go on back to Giant Bomb and get some more of those amazing takes. Giant Beast. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's that Giant Beast cast with the uh, person who said that. Okay. Hey, guys, have a great night! Bye, everybody! 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 Bye, everybody!